Uh, holy shit, this hand is bad. Absolutely not. Mm, better. Actually, I should put back this. Because then I have a second white source in case I draw Ranger Captain. What does Pot Agreed do? I don't know, you tell me. Oh! I mean, I thought I was playing Modern. What happened? Boltmaster is maybe good against whatever this is. Perhaps. We'll see. I was thinking it was just um, <laughs> the Convoke deck. I know Spike was playing a little bit of a Convoke deck. <clears throat> okay, probably not the Convoke deck. Let's get Goblet Shrine. That is interesting. I guess I'll just play that. There's a chance we kill them if I draw if I draw Cauldron Familiar or Viscerous here. They're dead because we can go Coco. <clears throat> Hum Daddy Six, thank you for the three months. Greatly appreciate the support. Thank you so much for coming back. Hooked him for another month. I'm a simple man. I see Coco combo decks and I hit sub. We've uh, we've cornered the market. Solid dude. Bitch to fairy. Hey, yo. Chill, 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 chill. The most solid of dudes. Love the border, but the art is nothing. What on Bowmasters? The art kind of slaps. Yeah, that's why Bowmasters is so good. Oh, Sam. Yeah, the arc doesn't really do anything for me, but I do love... I agree, the border is really nice. Uh, I want to trade the token for an inspector. Probably not. Because I just want bodies in play for cord. Please crack this clue. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Uh, I guess I killed the inspector then. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. See ya. See ya. Okay, th th this card's busted. Clearly busted. First Orcish Bowmasters casting. <laughs> Hit him with the uwu. Yeah, uwu. I said Bowmaster is real good. I said it's not bad. It is, in fact, not bad. How many ticks? I don't know. I rented them. <laughs> Probably more than more than people are willing to spend. What does it cost? Is it like 50? 40 or 50? Well, that's IRL. We gotta do E-Price. Mm -mm 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 -mm. E-Price. 38 tickets. Mm -mm. Hallowed Fountain. Skyclave. No! They're gonna kill my bowman! Not my bowman. Uh, I guess I could Coco in response in case I hit a sack outlet. Not my bowman, no. Mm -mm. So we get Sam and Wall. This wall makes the cord better. Yeah, Sam Wall is good. Make a food. And then if we draw either of the combo pieces, we're chilling. God, this song's a banger. We've gathered here to say goodbye. Hmm. Good chord for Woe Strider. <coughs> What's up, Jared? <coughs> well, I didn't want to cast the chord because I don't know what I want to get. Right? It depends on uh, it depends on what I draw because I don't want to get a combo piece and draw the same combo piece. I guess Gris could hit a cat if I mill. True. Speaking so Grist first. Hit a bird. Mm, I'll just hold up cord. Looking up the Edison format, but I don't know enough about Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays to know what the difference between the formats is. TLDR and Edison. Uh, Edison, there was a tournament in, I think it was 2011, and basically Edison is essentially that format, 
so it's ba it's essentially 2011 and prior but it's very similar it's so you know what like pre-modern is in magic it's kind of similar the similar concept to that where they just pick a certain time period and then it's all cards that and prior and it's using whatever the ban list was at that particular time yeah it's Yu-Gi-Oh! pre-modern I haven't played Goat yet, but I've, I've, I have been dabbling in this then. Mm, 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 mm. Still not going to cord here, because I don't know what I want to get. How expensive is Edison? I built my entire deck, the Frog Monarch deck, and it cost me under $100. There was The only expensive card was Substitute, which was 20 bucks, but everything else was like a $2 or less. With the exception of like a couple of the Synchros. But everything, most of it was super cheap. Yeah, and that's because Yu-Gi-Oh! just reprints all of their cards into the ground. <laughs> Which is fine for what it is. Holding on to you. I will be starting my... So I'm going into the booth at about 3 or 4 p.m. I'm on the second shift. They're starting coverage at 11 a.m., but I'm on second shift. Yeah, I know, right? It's possible the Edison cards might go up a little bit, given that Nationals is going to have a, a big Edison tournament. So I'm pretty happy that I got in when I did. Because I would not be surprised if the cards went up. Okay, that should be lethal. Doing coverage for the NRG series. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't have a sack out, but I have the cord. Uh, I guess I'll get Cauldron Familiar. It doesn't really matter the order in which I do this. Oh, no, it does. I needed to not play the cat yet, because now they can solitude the cat. Uh, one, two, three, four. Done. <clears throat> I'll be in town. No, no, no. I'm doing coverage from my home. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be at the event. I'm doing coverage from home. What is this? Why would they march that? Maybe they don't know what's going on. My mortal soul. All right, Dej. 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 Who calls out my name? <clears throat> Get all my monarchs? Yeah, yeah, I got everything, Spider. The only thing I'm missing, I'm missing two extra deck cards that I just bought. Uh, Colossal Fighter and Dark End Dragon. Which, yeah, some of the extra deck stuff was a little expensive. Like, I'll show you. Um, let's see if I can, like, tell you how much I paid for all this stuff. So, Upstarts were like a dollar. Swap Frogs were less than a dollar. This card was expensive. I had to buy three Substitutes. This card's like 20 bucks each, because there's only one printing of it. But other than that, everything else was super cheap. Like, Caius's Rises were less than a dollar. Thestalos is less than a dollar. Heavy Storm, I guess, was like three bucks. Um, but yeah, everything was super cheap. And then, like, the extra deck stuff. Uh, this thing... This thing was like, I think, six bucks. This was the only expensive extra deck card because there's like no printings of it. This thing was like 16 or 17. And then everything else was like $2 or less. Mistworm was, I think, $2. But yeah, everything else was super cheap. Yeah, the only stuff that's expensive are stuff that they haven't reprinted. <laughs> obelisk Frog Monarch. I'm not, I don't know if it's Obelisk, but it's just like Frog Monarch from, from that format. For medicine. I think Call of the Death Door would be a good cyber card against removal heavy matchups. Mm, maybe? I guess you can call back wrist, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like you could just play some other additional threats in that, in that spot. Alright, what do you want against mono, or I guess blue-white stuff? I mean, we didn't really see enough of their deck. I'm just I'm just gonna run it back until they show me more cards. You had obelisks in the board in frog monarch format. Oh, really? No, I, I don't have obelisk in my sideboard. <clears throat> Who calls out my name? No, there isn't, but I should probably make one. I'll actually just make a channel right now. Um, Let's go duplicate channel. 
Edison. There it is. There is now an Edison channel in the Discord. If you guys want to discuss Edison. I didn't know that there was enough people that actually talked about Edison, but I'd be down. I think Edison was prior to windup. So if you want to get like a really good explanation, you can go to edisonformat.com. So this website is really good at like, you can look at all the recent formats. It shows upcoming formats, like percentage of metagames, all the playable decks. And then if you go to like decks and then click on the decks here, all of these, if you want to find out any about these archetypes, like different lists and stuff, it's a really good resource. This is the exact list that I built. Nope. I'm good with that. I'll check lands. <laughs> lands? Where are they at? Chat, I can't find the lands. Where'd they go? The lands app. Yo. All right. I guess we keep this. Lands kind of ass, but. <clears throat> yeah, Edison's been so much fun. I've been playing a bunch of different decks. Okay, that's not bad. Let's we'll take those. We call that a turn two grist, baby. <laughs> two grist, one bird. Wall of Bowman's. Wall of Humegalol? Alright, I'm just gonna make some tokens. Yeah, Halfling does cast Grist. So, I've decided to cut Halfling from this deck list over Noble Hierarch because I am playing Ranger Captain of Eos. So, if you look at the deck list, the only thing that Halfling casts is Sam and Grist. There are other versions that play other legends, like Gab was playing a version with Yawgmoth. Some people play, uh, like, Rosie and stuff. Some people play Heliod. But I think if you're going to play something like this shell, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Noble is better than Halfling. In a version like this. I don't know if they're Soul Herder. I guess that would kind of make sense. We haven't really seen a ton from their deck. I'm just going to play Grist plus Hierarch. Just keep making tokens. Set up shop. I could attack for two. Oh, no, they just block with wall. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah Halfling is kind of cool in Yawgmoth. Although it's very similar where it only casts Grist and Yawgmoth. And I guess the one Hapatra... Shieldred if people are playing that, which some of the Yawgmoth players are playing Shieldred. Yeah. I mean, maybe Yogg and Grist is just enough. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know what you're saying. It also means that you're... Oh, shit. It also means that you're less exposed to Brennan 6. I mean, that is one of the cards. They got their own wall, though. Yeah, can't cast Geist off it, which is awkward. And uh, Messenger, too. Like, you can't go turn one Halfling, turn two Messenger. I don't know what I'm getting off of this. I mean, it's either Viscera Seer or Cauldron Familiar. I guess getting Cauldron Familiar is better if I draw Sam. Kind of. Yeah, because then I can go Sam, Cat, Token, Sack, Sam to Grist, and then get back Cat. But Viscera Seer is better with Grist, right? It's like I can sack the tokens to find more stuff. Yeah, I'll just get Seer. We have two Viscera Seer, and I think I... Did I go down to one Woe Strider in this list? Yeah, two Viscera Seer, one Woe Strider. Plus the Court of Callings. <clears throat> Sanctifier. That does shut off my combo. And I cannot kill it with Grist. That's going to be a tough one. Do we have any out of the Sanctifier in our sideboard? I know I don't have anything main deck. Uh, Not really, no. I hadn't thought about Sanctifier shutting off the combo. Could be a little awkward. Especially if we're trying to play a, a bit of a longer game. Should have played Bird first, I guess. Not that it matters that much. Showed you the Goyfe on Friday. Uh, I don't know if you did, did you? Maybe you did. You want a Glenelendra Archmage on Tuesday. Is that expensive? Even if it isn't, that's Bog. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about that too, Jared. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, the Protein Hulk stuff, because the fact that Protein Hulk, you can get all the pieces and Abolisher. You can even get as many Asmos as you want, which is kind of hot. 45? Sheesh. Oh, it's the promo one. Okay, I gotcha. Trigger my Protein Hulk, get four copies of Asmo. Giga Chad. <clears throat> Lose my mind. Oh, this Goyf. Yeah, these Goyfs are sick. 
I want one of these. Those things look so good. It's like 130. Is it really that much? Wasn't it like a participation promo or partition participation prize or something? I don't know what the like what what the recommended way to to get that was. Like were they just giving them out at certain tournaments? There's only 5k. Really? Wow, okay. <coughs> As a pre-release bait. What's up, Browse? Classic pre-release bait. <coughs> My win in. We threw two at our first league. We learned some things about the deck, though. Some ways to make it better, potentially. Store gives them to the winner of the 2 HD pre release since they get two. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Yeah, I believe they're casting March. Uh, I guess I'll sack it to Viscerous here. It doesn't really accomplish anything for me, right? I guess it gives me a blocker for Sanctifier, but I think we need to look for Coco. Coco or Cord. I just want more captains. I only have one left. Yeah, that's fine. Like risk go to two. Um, need to find some gas. Oh, I can just uh but Gris is at two. Maybe I should have chump block with bird. Because then I could have had Grist on four. Sack token, kill this, get a blue creature to block here. Yeah, that was bad. I should have chump blocked the Sanctifier with Bird. I guess it's fine because I can just go uptick, play Hierarch, chump block this turn. Yeah. <clears throat> and then next turn, down tick Grist and keep it in play. Uh, no attacks. Go. Mm -hmm. I could have attacked with one insect, but I kind of want to hold back both so I can double block this the Skyclave, just in case they attack with it. Like, if I attack with insect, then I don't have a good double block here. I guess I could just chump and then sack to Viscerous here. You know what? I, I feel like somebody suggested this earlier, but I think I should have added a Gavity Township to this deck. They were really good this game. I mean, they have Field of Ruin, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know. They're just playing, like, some white cards they enjoy. I don't know. They're just doing their own thing. The temporary lockdown Sanctifier in Vec is uh, interesting, though. That's uh, that's definitely interesting. That's a decision. It is a choice. You know, it's a choice that you're allowed to make. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just want to add more 2014 cards to my deck. Unlicensed Hearse. Sure, that's fine. <clears throat> mm, no, I'm not going to sack a token here, because I want to sack one to Grist. Boop, boop. Kill this. I mean, I'm just going to go beat downs. Sack for three. And then we have three, three illusion to check the, the sanctifier. Maybe it's Amiria. I, yeah, they have misfail planes. Amiria would make some amount of sense. But they haven't shown us any of the one drops that sacrifice, like no martyrs. No Kami of False Hopes, none of that stuff yet. We can check the hearse with just, you know, Grist Uptick plus Seer. Like, we had Chump Block the hearse forever. Not too worried about the hearse. I'm worried if they have Solitude for the Illusion token. That'd be kind of awkward. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, they could have Sun Titan. That would kind of make sense. Captain for Ballista. Dicey. <clears throat> Unless they're just going to trade the Ballista for Grist, which I'm pretty happy with. Yeah, I'm actually kind of okay with this. For no apparent reason. I think no sack here. As if I have all... Do I attack for five? I think. Will beat downs? They can get the Ballista back in 44 turns. True... Mistvale planes the ballista to the bottom. I mean, more realistically, they could just have a second ranger captain, right? Mistvale the ballista back and then play second captain. Sanctifier is kind of an asshole. We only have one ranger captain left, which I think is our best draw, because it doesn't... They, they can't check it with the sanctifier. And now they can check the illusion token with the hearse. So I don't even really have a good attack now. 
Like, we have a 5-5, five five, they can just go animate, block, make it a 6-6. Six six. We're going to be here for a while, chat. Get your popcorn. We are going to be here for a while. Which is good, because, I mean, they're pretty low on time. How would it be how would it be worth to play ignoble hierarch over bird how relevant is the man of any color when you're playing with ranger captain you really want to have access to double wipe <laughs> they did misfill the ballista back <clears throat> all right 44 turns from now oh they can shuffle it back in it'd be nice to draw a spell i could sack an insect token to scry i was saving it for a block but so they're at eight, and we have three cauldron familiars, so we can put them to five. Mm. I guess Bowmaster wouldn't be that bad of a draw. Actually, no, we have six damage. We have six direct damage in our deck, right? Three Bowmaster and three. Yeah, three Bowmaster, three Cat. Okay, that's an idea. <laughs> I mean, I could just Cord for Bird. Cord for Bird is a play. I don't... Maybe I'm supposed to get Gris there? I still have two left. They shocked? What the fuck? Why did they shock? What the hell? Uh, Do they have a counter spell for my Cord? I mean, that's bad. <laughs> did I bring it at Endurance? I don't think I did. Uh, I did not. Hmm. This is kind of stinky. I don't like this. I mean, I guess I'll cast this. I, I feel like if they shocked, I don't expect this to resolve. No, I, sh I should let them target first. I mean, now I probably have to get Grist. Okay, they're targeting Viscerous here. Um... I will scry one. No, actually, there's no point in scrying, because I'm going to sack the cord anyways. I could cord in response and then sack the viscerous here. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Let's see, three. Uh, green. Do it this way, and I still have three mana available. Have we seen any moonlights yet? Uh, no, we have not seen moonlight. But Moonlight doesn't stop Cord. Moonlight doesn't stop Cord for Grist, right? Because Grist, when it enters the battlefield, it's not a creature. Is that how that works? So it says, as it long as it isn't on the battlefield, it's a one-one insect creature. But then when it comes into play, it's not entering as a creature. It's entering as a planeswalker. Correct? How does that work? Judge, judge. I I I have never had this come up before. I don't know how it works. You, any judges in chat? <clears throat> Only one way to find out. True. Ah, there you go. It worked. Uh, okay, now we can sack. We did the thing, Chad. It worked. Bottom. <clears throat> it worked. Asking if one can remove Solar Grist. No, my opponent cast Hell of Moonlight, and I was wondering if I cored for Grist after they resolved Hell of Moonlight, would it enter the battlefield or would it get exiled? That was the question. But I found my answer, so... I've never had that come up before, so I wasn't sure how it worked. Alright, pretty sure I have to kill the Sun Titan. <laughs> so, let's sack this. Kill Sun Titan. Uh, proceed. What a weird game. What a strange game that we're playing. So they probably had Sun Titan Hallowed Moonlight the whole time, but they wanted to hold on the Sun Titan until they could hold up Moonlight. <clears throat> Little did they know, I drew a bunch of lands in a row. Mm, prismatic ending on this is kind of bad. Because then I can't check the Sanctifier anymore. Engineered explosives for zero. So I guess they're going to pop this. Makes sense. I could have done it for one. I think they thought about doing it for one. But <laughs> funny enough, I think it's better to do it for zero anyways. Uh, yeah, top that. I might have to get Ranger Captain now, because I can get Ranger Captain, Ranger Captain for Bird. <laughs> What's up, Snack Bar? Put you up on the big TV? 
Hi, Mom. I'm on the big screen. Getting close to combo. We can't combo through Sanctifier. That's the issue. We, we would have won this game by now if it weren't for the Sanctifier. Okay, so they're sending all four at Grist, which means I cannot keep the Grist in play, so I will just choose to not block. Okay, so I have one Grist left. <coughs> can attack for three with Viscerous here. Yeah, you can combo through Sanctifier at FNM. That's an FNM level play that we call it. Yeah, I agree. I think the Hurst should have went to my face. Okay, I want to see if this resolves. Because they might have another Moonlight. Okay, well, now that it resolved, I actually don't know what I should get. So, I can go Ranger Captain for Bird, attack for three, put them to three, and then the Bird is a two-turn clock. I can Grist make a token, or... I think those are my best two options. I actually kind of think I like the Ranger Captain. What if I have Ranger Captain for another Noble? Oh, am I out of nobles? Did I cut a noble? I thought I had one left. Am I just blind? Oh, there's one here. One, two, three, four. Okay, got it. So now we can go attack for three. Lord never gave up. This is bad if they have solitude. Can't really play around much this game anyways. <clears throat> Looks like they do have Solitude. <laughs> they have Wandering Emperor in their deck? Alright, alright. Definitely one of the decks of all time. One of the decks of all time. Go. <clears throat> what was the last song name? Uh, I don't remember. I actually can't look it up. The only way I can look it up is if I go back to the last song, which I guess I could do. It was Ghost in My Home by Point North. Mm, mm, mm. I want to go see Motionless. They're coming to... Uh, I, I live, like, near Boston, and they're coming to Fenway. I think they're coming to Fenway in September. I really want to go to that show. Elish Norn. Madre de Machines. Mommy! Ma 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 mommy I've only seen them once. I actually saw them at DreamHack. Dream, the first DreamHack Dallas. 13 damage? Yeah, I don't know. I'll just take it. We'll figure it out. We're just going to clock them. I mean, honestly, at this point, yeah, that's probably my path to victory. It's just timing them out. Which is boring, but... <laughs> it's, it is extremely boring to... Can crew, one, two, three, four, five... This is game two. We're up a game. Here were your first concert. The first concert that I ever went to. May, may, maybe people remember this name in chat, but it was uh, Loco Bazooka 2005, which used to be, I think, I think it was an East Coast thing. And it was like, uh, <laughs> they just didn't attack. It was like Disturbed, Dropkick Murphys were the headliners. I can't remember who else was there. I was like, God forbid. I'm trying to remember who, who were the other headliners. I could probably look it up. Loco Bazooka 2005. Here's the set list. Yeah, it was in Fitchburg. So it was 10 Years, Byzantine, Clutch, Darkest Hour, Disturbed, Dropkick Murphys, God forbid, Il Nino, Life of Agony, Mushroom Head, Smile Empty Soul. God, that show was so good. That was my first ever concert. What's my dream concert? Three mains in one intro. Mm, I mean, I kind of want to say Slipknot just because I haven't seen them before. There's a few bands that I haven't seen live before that I really want to go see. Slipknot is definitely one of them. My favorite concert that I've ever been to was... It was a New Year's Eve show. It was 2000... And it was like 2010 or something. And it was New Year's Eve, Hatebreed in New Haven. And for those of you who don't know, they're from New Haven. They played for like three hours. It was the most ridiculous show that I've ever been to in my life. It was unreal. All right, we're going to game three. They have two and a half minutes, chat. 
I don't really think I have to do much. <clears throat> yeah, I was at Toad's Place. It's the only time I've ever been to that venue, but it was a really good venue. Another show that I really enjoyed was Trivium and Bullet for My Valentine at the... Um, what's the concert in New Hampshire? Or not the concert, but what's the uh, the casino in New Hampshire? The Hampton Beach. It was the Hampton Beach Ballroom, Trivium and Bullet. It was like, I think when Trivium did their like their last recent album tour but it was trivium bullet i forgot who opened for them but that that venue was unbelievable what a sick venue that was that might be my favorite venue but not my favorite concert oh we heard this yesterday but i'll listen to it again um i guess i have to consider them playing temporary lockdown because we saw it last game Let's see here I kind of want to go... I kind of don't want to play the second wall, <laughs> just in case they have the, the lockdown. I mean, whatever. They have a minute on their clock. It doesn't really matter what I do. All right, let me get the song request for Brick Brickmaster. All right, in the queue. I could even cord for one if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I have a shock. They have ephemerate. Are the Blue Ridge Fests worth going to? Not even sure what the what the lineup is. Blue Ridge Fest. What's the lineup? What is the lineup? Lineup? Too low. Lineup, lineup, lineup. Slipknot, Pantera, Shinedown, Biscuit, Five Finger. This is a sick lineup. Megadeth, Danzig. Wow. So it's just like everything, <laughs> like literally everything. Fuck yeah. I would go to that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would definitely go to that. That lineup is crazy. It's like three days. Yeah, those festivals usually are. There was actually one that I was, that I had bought tickets for and I was going to go to. But, and I forget who was there besides Metallica, but Metallica was definitely one of them. But it got canceled due to COVID. And I didn't end up getting to go to it. Random Florida. Yeah. I guess I fetched incorrectly because now I can't cast this cord. But I don't think it matters. They have 30 seconds. I can just I can just spam F6 at this point. God, this cover, this this song is so good. I'm just going to F6. I am going to spam F6. <clears throat> All right, chat. We are finally out of hell. We are finally out of hell. Let's go. Um, Second Viscerous here is kind of awkward, but the sand is still very good. It's a cauldron familiar away from a win. <laughs> Headbangers Ball 03, Palladium on Halloween, Lamb of God, Kill Switch, Engage, Shadows Fall on Earth. Didn't go to that one. I went to one, <clears throat> I think it was like 07, was Lupos and Providence. And it was Hate Breed and Kill Switch Engage. That was a good show. I've seen Hate Breed a lot. I think Hate Breed is probably the band that I've seen the most. No, you can't win on turn two, because you need to be able to play. You need four mana. Like, you have to cast a two drop and two one drops, so you can't win on turn two, but you can win on turn three. Hmm, I think they have both for Sam. I really hope they don't. Cool. <clears throat> Go. Seen the Dead Rabbits live. Does not sound familiar. Yeah, I don't think I've seen them that much. I've seen them at least ten times. But that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was, that's definitely the band that I, when I was like growing up going to concerts, that I fuck with the most. They just put on a hell of a live show. Okay, still dead to a cauldron familiar or a court of calling. <laughs> Upstairs, baby. All right, dig four. Is it worth sacrificing a noble hierarch on my upkeep? Probably, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. No, not in this deck. Hey, is going to be at the Palladium on September 16th. Are they really? Did that recently get announced? Because I don't remember seeing that. 
If so, I'm probably gonna go. No! God damn it, that's like the maxed punishment. Uh, shit. Mm, of course, I just got max punished. Uh, I have to bottom this now, I think. I don't just don't know that I'm going to have time for it. <clears throat> they have four cards in hand. Yeah, just maximum punishment. All right, bottom. Got to keep. No, I think you have to bottom that. Ooh, now I can just sack Viscerous here and kill this, actually. Uh, yeah. This can't get a basic. It's awkward. So I actually have to get a black source with this. Yeah. <clears throat> Drench me in gasoline. I should attack first. But I can sack Viscerous here because I have another Viscerous here. Well, definitely got punished for sacrificing the Hierarch. Could have just cast the Coco. Sounds good, JS. Have a good one, buddy. Enjoy FNM. Strongly suggest you check out the Dead Rabbits. Listen to the Emptiness album so much. Dead Rabbits, huh? All right, I'm going to search them on Spotify. I'm going to put them into my liked songs. Every time chat gives me suggestions, I just put them on my Spotify playlist and listen to them later. <clears throat> Ranger Captain of Eos. That doesn't quite do it. Mm. So I guess we go Viscerasir Sack Food. I really hope they don't have a removal spell for Sam. Yeah, one mana short. <clears throat> I probably would have won this game if I just didn't sacrifice the Noble Hierarch. You know, I'm, I'm being results-based because I did have eight outs to just kill them on the spot that wasn't Coco. <clears throat> like, if I, scry into a, if I scry into a Cord or a Cauldron Familiar, they would have just been dead that turn. So I think I made the right play, but I just got punished for, you know, a four of. They definitely have a removal spell if they're thinking this long, right? Well, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, go. Yeah, I think it was correct. I just got a little punished. They'll maybe have lethal, depending on what they do. Okay, I still feel like there's a good chance that I'm going to lose one of my creatures here, especially if they're surveilling. Okay, that gets them delirium, but they already played a land. Back into modern, just testing Sam. I mean, th this channel is going to be, I'm going to play whatever I find to be the most interesting. If that's modern, then it's modern. If it's pioneer, it's pioneer. But I'm not going to, like, say, I'm not going to tell you that this is only going to be a pioneer channel or only going to be a modern channel. You know, it's just going to be whatever I find interesting and whatever I want to work on. <coughs> so, a little bit of both. <coughs> I'm Like, as of right now, I'm mostly just testing Sam. So they're killing Grist. <clears throat> God, I gotta take a sip of water. Hold on. Sheesh, my throat's really dry. Yeah, it's only a scale stream. All right. Uh, end of turn, sack food. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a removal spell. And they have to, right? There's just no way they don't. I mean, they're dead if they don't have a removal spell, but I'm fairly convinced they do. So yeah, going back to... You know, like, am I just playing, like, am I back in modern? I mean, I'm playing modern because I find Sam to be very interesting, and I think there is a lot of potential in this card, and I want to see how far we can push it. But, I mean, at the moment, I still find Pioneer to be a more enjoyable format. All right, let's go for the kill. It seems like they're f 6 All right, now they're dead. Cool. Things that I should have said. <clears throat> they do seem F6. What's up, RMB? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Killing people with cats. This kills me no Asmo. Yeah, I mean, it's just a different deck, right? The Asmo stuff is just a completely different deck. If you want to play Asmo, it's like a package deal where you have to play Asmo plus Saga plus Cookbook. And if you want to focus more on the combo, you just don't have enough spots to dedicate to all of those cards. So it's it's just a different deck. Not saying one is necessarily better than the other. Obviously, you know, time will tell. We'll have to do a lot of testing. But I've been very impressed with this deck's ability to con very consistently find the combo. Like, this, this deck has a ton of redundancy, and that's what I find the most appealing about it. 
Yeah, Asmo needs Daredevil too. So it's like the As what's the Asmo package, right? Asmo, Daredevil, Saga, and Cookbook. It's like a sixteen card package, which is fine if you want to go about building it that way. I like how they conceded when they went the two. <laughs> Oh, yeah, NRG commentary this weekend, boys. Boys and girls, it's going to be a lot of fun. NRG commentary, baby. What book? The Book of Exalted Deeds. Book of D's Nuts. What do you want against Prowess? Do I want anything against Prowess? I don't know what they're sideboarding against me. Clockbook. Uh, the NRG this weekend, I will let you know. I want to give them a follow. NRG series on Twitter. This weekend, I believe, yeah, Modern 10K. Modern 10K and a Legacy 5K. So the main event's the Modern event, and then Legacy on Sunday. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know if there's, like, anything that I really want in this matchup. Maybe I could cut the Bowmasters, because they're pretty bad against Lava Dart. Although Bowmaster is <clears throat> kind of gas against Channeler, right? <sighs> Pylon's probably decent. Let's cut the Bowmasters. Let's bring in Pylon. Be a couple Endurances. Let's try that. Yeah, Bowmaster's not very good. Sounds good, Vexing Devil. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the sub again. Now we'll ship this. Uh, okay. We can work with this. Is it Ovenless Cat Oven? I mean, it's, it's just a different thing going on. Kind of, but not really. It's more of a... I would akin this more to, like, Devoted-style combo decks. It feels a lot more like the Devoted Druid decks. Mm, we have to get a Forest. I think Forest is okay. It's a little awkward with the Knight if they kill my bird. Any reason for Viscera Seer of a Carrion Feeder? Viscera Seer is, like, better at finding your combo pieces, because if you just assemble Viscera Seer plus Grist, you can continuously sacrifice the token to find the rest of your combo pieces. So I think Seer helps set up the combo a lot better. Tormod's Crypt. That doesn't actually do anything, because as long as I have one extra food in play, I can play around Crypt. That is an interesting draw. Did I ever pay out the last Gamba? I think I did, right? I hope I did. <laughs> it's been a while since I did that. Uh, so I can go Shockland, Sam, Cat. I could hardcast Endurance here and try to block this. <clears throat> I mean, Sam, Cat is good because if I draw a land, they're dead. Yeah, let's just go for Sam, Cat. Although... Mm, no, it's fine, because I'll have one extra food, right? Oh, no, this is bad, because now they could just go Lava Dart Cat. Well, if they Lava Dart the Cat, then I just don't... I just don't bring back the Cat, right? And if they ever activate this, I can respond. Oh, that's a good point, too. I can also pitch Endurance to make a food. That's a very good point. I hadn't thought about that. But yeah, that just, that's just one extra food. Okay, so Spear is fine. Looks like Prismatic Ending on Sam... That's unfortunate. Hmm. I think I have to let this go. Yeah, I'm just going to let this go. They can't attack with this. Maybe I chump block here. Ugh. Second Crypt is so bad for me. <laughs> uh, The second Crypt sucks. The first Crypt didn't do anything, but the second one is actually pretty good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I think I have to take this. Take this, hope to draw land. That is unfortunately not a land. can go Endurance Chump Block here. Yep, I guess that's my play. <laughs> yeah, two Torbot scripts. Okay, light up the stage is, uh, is fine. It's funny because even if if I draw land and Coco into Sam plus Sack Outlet, they're still dead. Well, no, not through two crypts. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Now they can kill the bird. There's no good way for me to do this. 
because they just go to combat, and I have to cast the Endurance now. And now I can't cast the Coco, even if I draw land. I think we probably have no way out at this point. Okay, they're doing this. Um, we're not necessarily dead, though. Because they lose Delirium, we can jump block here and take five. I was hoping they would activate a Crypt. Mm, Alright, we don't have any way out. <clears throat> no way out. I faced the 14 land living endless. No, not yet, Doctor of Time. <clears throat> I mean, do I want to bring in Haywire Might for Tormod's Crypt? Not really. I think I'm... Mm, yeah, I'm just going to run it back. We could beat them with our fair plan. Mm. Sand's kind of slow. I'm going to ship this. Okay, better. I think I'm putting back the Grist. Yeah, they're they're both... They're, it's all pretty bad against, uh, against specifically Tormod's Crypt. Mm. I think I'm going to go Noble Viscerous here. Sets me up a little bit better for Cord. Like, if I Ranger Captain here and they kill my Hierarch. Yeah, I think I like going Hierarch Seer here. Let's get Godless Shrine, I think. Fuck it, might as well attack. I'm not going to block with the Noble Hierarch. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess attack is bad if they have Metagenic Growth, but I, I don't... I feel like it's pretty unlikely they kept in Metagenic Growth. I don't think they would ever keep in Metagenic against me. They have no damage base removal. <laughs> to commandeer people's one rings. I mean, isn't it just better to play Force Indication at that point, Bolin? How serious is this deck so far? It's been pretty good. I've been relatively impressed with its ability. It's, like, pretty resilient because you have Cord and Ranger Captain and Grist and Coco, so you have a lot of two-for-ones, and you have a ton of redundancy built in because Ranger Captain finds two combo pieces, Cord Coco finds Sam, so, like, a lot of redundancy, a lot of good two-for-ones. It feels like a very good deck. I've been very happy with it so far. I think the shell is still a little rough around the edges, but... So it needs a little bit of work. Relatively impressed so far. Alright, not gonna trade. Okay. Yes, I don't have the option to trade anyways. How much worse is Delighted Halfling than Bopper Hyrax player on Lava Dart? So the problem with Halfling is it only casts two cards. It only casts Grist and Sam and nothing else. So I'm not I'm not generally a big fan of that. I still have four cards in hand. Can go Grist, make a token, that chump blocks here, but then Channeler can check Grist. I don't really have a good cord turn, though. So I think I'm just going to go make a token. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty lucky. Actually makes this a lot better. Because now I have an extra token in play for Cord next turn, and I have two blockers for the Swiss Spear. That was massive. Do I like this deck more for Sam than food, or just different? It's just a different deck. It's it's more of a combo deck than a mid-range deck. Okay, they did have the Lava Dart. This matchup does not seem very good. <laughs> it seems quite bad, actually. There's just, like, a lot of problems. Yeah, they are going to kill Grist, which I'm pretty happy with. Kind of. <laughs> can cord for Sam this turn if I draw a land, which I did. Uh, go. I'm going to fetch on their upkeep, I think. I guess it doesn't matter when I fetch because I could just float mana with Hurricane response. But I have to go for a combo kill. I can't. I can't go for a fair plan. I have to hope they don't have a ton of leftover stuff, or, like, tap out for a Sprite Dragon or something. Which they're just not going to do. Four damage. I chump block the Swift Spear. Chump block Swift Spear, Cord for Sam. No, I'm still a mana short at that point, right? Yeah, okay, I have to take this. Just take and hope I'm not dead. Okay, they didn't play a spell, which is... Interesting. Sure. 
Okay, we dodged a removal spell. I did have the land. Mm -mm -mm. So we can go for... I actually have to get a Black Source here. Because I need to be able to go Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get a Black Source. Ranger Captain for two Black Cards. So we get Sam off of this. Is there a deck you would recommend to play that could help me on my quest to 5 0? Path to Exile. What year is this, my brother in Christ? What year is this? <laughs> Path to Exile? Uh, they have one card, but we, I mean, we can't beat the expressive. Meow, meow. I mean, it, that's a really tough question to answer, Gladiator. Like, it really all depends on your playstyle. Hierarch Seer Grist. Eh, this hand's kind of medium, but I'll keep it. We got a huge influx in viewers. I know what that means. Aspiring Spike probably ended the stream. Well, if you're coming in from Aspiring Spike stream, welcome. My name is Doomwake. We usually play a lot of Pioneer on the channel, but decided to take a little detour into Modern for some Sam combo. Uh, if you are new here, you should hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you a single dime. No reason to not hit the follow button. Ooh, some Yogmoth. Jogmoth. Oh. Well, it's actually not that good against the combo, because they can just kill it with one activation. Is there any world where I would Grist sack my Noble to kill their Hapatra? I mean... Ugh. I don't love that play. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. You know what? Let's do it. I don't know if it's right, but let's just fuck around and find out. Let's let's fuck around and find out. This card is a massive problem. And I don't really have a good blocker for it. I guess I can Bowmasters and trade the token, maybe. How is Modern Fell coming back to it? It's fine. It's kind of the same thing. They hit two! No! That's not fair. Can I hit two? No, never lucky. Never lucky. Go. Can Bowmaster one of the tokens and trade the Amass token for the other insects? But I mean, they're just going to downtick, right? Oh my god, if they only hit one insect token, I could have blown them out with Bowmasters. But they had to hit two. God, that's so unfortunate. Alright, yeah, you got it. So unfortunate. Good beats. Yeah, clearly a skill issue. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Yeah, Bowmaster has looked pretty good. I've been very impressed with that card. They don't have cord, because I think they would have corded in response. Well, we could also just kill them. That works. Oops. White, green, Sam. Mm -mm -mm. I could even wait until they tap out, right? They may have endurance. Um. Oh, that's true. We actually can't beat endurance. How much mana do I need to leave up to cord? One, two... Can I threaten lethal on the Grist and hold up Cord for one? I can, right? Right? I just go Grist, Grist, Grist. This still casts Cord for one? Sure. Because this might get them into... This might beat them in... Yeah! God, I'm, I'm so good at this game. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. So smart. You love to see it. Actually jabated. Chat is smart. Yeah, true. I mean, you know, I, I would have thought of that myself. Come on. Surely I would have thought of that myself. Surely, right? <clears throat> yeah, I almost just want to play four Bowmasters in this list. That card has felt so good. All right, what do you want against Jogmoth? <laughs> That's true. I click the buttons. It has, yes. Better than I thought it was, okay? I didn't... I So, I actually didn't read the card. I didn't realize that it triggered when it entered the battlefield. I thought it only triggered off of them drawing cards. So, 
the baseline is two mana for two one ones with flash, and you get to ping something. That's the baseline. But I I didn't realize that. You know, it would help if I read the card. Yeah, Woe Strider is just like a better than the third Viscerous here because it's a much better Coco hit. Is Plague Engineer good against Yawgmoth? What did I think instead? I thought it only triggered off of drawing cards, not what it entered the battlefields. Yeah, reading the card does kind of explain the card. Plays around Surgical. Yeah, kind of. It's just like, it's more, it's higher upside than the third Seer. It's a much better card. It's been doing okay. Dude, I don't know, what the hell am I supposed to cut? Like, maybe Ranger Captain is not great against them? Because the text, the, the sacrifice text is not that relevant. Can, like, trim. I mean, I know Bowmasters look pretty good that game, but I think I'm going to try this. On the play, Bowmasters is probably a little bit better, because you can snipe off their one mana mana dorks. Uh, the sand is slow, but I'm going to try it. I don't think it's a pylon matchup, but I guess it does answer Yawgmoth at instant speed. Ooh, I can't kill that mana dork with Bowmasters. They keep a one lander? Looks like they did. Love in Chicago. Hmm. Right on time, asshole. Right on time. I guess I can just pitch that to Endurance if I need to. <laughs> yeah, it was an okay one lander. It was like a two and a half lander more than a one lander. Oh yeah, you can. I forgot that you could play Bowmaster in in a uh, historic. But nobody actually knows what Historic is, so it's mostly irrelevant. <clears throat> Are they doing this main phase? Um, So I could Endurance Pitch Bird just to get a food. That does not seem worth it. I have five cards in hand. This is not great. Not feeling great about this. Historic is actually fun. No, but there is no way to confirm or deny that. Because there's actually nobody in the world that even plays Historic. Yeah, I thought it was a card type. Greased. Make a 1-1, one, one, sure. Bro, skill issue. I really need to get better at my Grist Millings. I need to, I need to get some lessons from them. All right, take two. Okay, so we can go land, noble, grist, and then down tick grist, and they can't remove both my blockers, in theory. Mm -mm. Oh, I guess they could cord for zero? They can't cord for zero now. Could have, like, Fatal Push? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right, it's, it's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. Go next. <clears throat> I need to get better at milling two tokens for Grist. There was a severe, there was a, a severe skill gap that game, you know? Severe skill gap. Jover is the future. Let's make it happen. Mm, 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 mm. You don't like the mana dorks? I mean, you just kind of have to play them. I think Pylon is good. Maybe it's better than Moonlight. Yeah, I guess Pylon does kill Yawgmoth. You're right, I probably should have brought in Pylon. This hand's cracked. Yeah, I should have brought in Pylon. I feel like we have too much air. I mean, on the play, you definitely want all the mana dorks. This hand's just nuts. Okay. I accept. Trigger. Go. Cast Coco next turn. <laughs> Couldn't you run Sam Goth with Halfling mana? 
You mean Delighted Halfling? You could, but I think that you're better off playing uh, the combination of Birds and Noble because Delighted Halfling only only fixes for specifically Sam and Grist, but it doesn't fix for anything else in the deck. And because we're playing Ranger Captain, I think you're I think Noble Hierarch is more important. Okay, so I could Coco main phase to try and just kill them, but I guess I don't kill them through Endurance. But I still think Coco main phase is better because I could hit Grist. Or I could hit a bunch of nothing. <laughs> or I could hit a bunch of bricks. All right, go. <laughs> Or I could hit Stone Cold Nothing. Yeah, classic, classic Doomway Cocos. That's why people are here. That's why you're all here watching the streams. You can watch me hit Cocos like that. The best Cocos in the West, they say. Yeah, the next Coco, though, let me tell you. This next Coco about to go breezy. Uh, am I doing it main phase? I'll be wait till they cast Coco. Could have maybe got in there with the bird. Why is Delighted Halfling good? Well, I think it's good in very specific decks. Like the, I think it's, I think it's at its best in the four color decks that are trying to cast like Teferi and Renin Six, because not only does it make those cards uncounterable, but it also fixes your mana, which is potentially sometimes a, a bit of a sketchy proposition, right? Master Marshmallow, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much for supporting the stream. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. And our opponent has deceased. Our opponent has deceased. I think. Yeah, because we can even endurance to get another food with Sam. So I don't think there's a way they can break this up. Like, theoretically, they could kill... They'd have to kill both cats. Yeah, just respond to this, right? Yeah, make a food. Because I can do it before they even put the Yawgmoth in play. Uh, Okay, so we go here, here. I guess I'll target myself. It's not going to matter. Resolve this. All right, cool. So you... Yeah, I will win at instant speed. Absolutely not. That is certainly a hand of all time. And if this had a mana dork, if only one of these doubles was a mana dork, I would actually strongly consider keeping this hand. <sighs> it does have the combo. We have to draw a. I have to draw a land. I feel like we're probably better off going to five. It's close though. I feel like I'm just gonna talk myself into keeping this hand. I'll ball. I'll ball. Uh, okay, this is good. Back Basaju and Coco. And don't play the cat on one so I can get a food off Sam. Yeah, I'm going to hold the cat. <clears throat> Six was going to draw exactly Swamp and lose. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good point, because I have to get, like, Overgrown Tomb or Goblin Shrine on turn one. Goblin Guide. All right, what's on top? Do we want to draw it? Court of Calling? No, I don't think so. But I kind of don't want to cast Sam into a Searing Blaze. What if I just didn't play anything? Yeah, I'm actually just not going to play anything. I could play the Cat, I guess. No. I'd rather wait to play the Cat till next turn. Like, when I can play Cat and Sam in the same turn. So I can go Sam, cat, make a food, block Goblin Guide, and then have the food in play to get the cat back. <sighs> Cauldron Familiar, not exactly what I'm looking for. I feel like Cabin would be good in this deck. Uh, the way that the mana base is currently situated, you can't support Cabin. But you could certainly rework the mana to maybe support it. Okay, how about I just do this? Go make a token. Halfway... We're halfway there. Lit king on a prayer. I don't know where I was going with that. <clears throat> VIP or mod. Choose wisely. You can't take it back. No takes these backsies. Not in my house. We're getting Boros Charmed. Everybody in chat, take four. Minus four Keck W. Oh, never mind. We're going after Grist? Interesting. 
like kind of okay with that. I mean, they probably have land searing blaze, kill token, kill grist. That would make sense. The Demir mill from yesterday meme are viable. I think it's pretty viable. Like I was honestly very impressed with that deck up until we played against Rakdos. <laughs> then we kind of just got destroyed by Rakdos. But if you can figure out a way to make the Rakdos matchup good, then I think it's fine. Suspend Rift Bolts. So they just didn't have the Searing Blaze. That is a pretty good draw. So we are not quite able to lethal them, right? Where I can go Sam, Cat. Then I can only cord for Sam, Cat. I don't have exactly enough, right? Sam Cat, that's three creatures plus a land. Yeah, I just have lethal. Assuming they don't have anything, they probably have something. But if they don't have a removal spell for Sam, this is lethal. Chance they're going to kill Sam in response. Ed Red. Oh, okay. Well, they just died. <laughs> Sick. All right, we went anyways. Well, that was easy. Can wait until your end step. Yeah, yeah. If they didn't kill, like, you know, I, I would have waited till my end step for sure. See ya. See ya. Alright, what do you want against burn? Hmm. What do they usually sideboard? They have, like, Roiling Vortex, which doesn't really matter too much, because it doesn't actually stop the combo. Um... Wish I had, like, a Brenton Forge Tender or something like that. Yeah, they could have Path. Just more removal in general. I guess I want to cut the Bowmasters? They don't seem very good against them. Bring in, like, Scoos, two Haywire Mites. Shouldn't there be some number of Gooses a Mana Dork? So the only problem with Goose is that if, like, okay, so if your first Mana Dork is Goose, you can't go three drop into Coco because you only get one food. So I think that that sequence and that scenario comes up often enough where I think it's worth not playing Goose. Like, turn one Goose, turn two Grist, you then can't play Coco. And I think that's just too much of a downside. Even though Goose giving you extra food is nice. I don't I don't think you want to play Asmo in this version. You can play a version with Asmo, but it's just a different deck. Like, this deck is just... It, there's a, there's a, it's just a different thing going on. Like, if you want to play the, the more fair version that's less, less all-in on the combo, then, yeah, that version is good with Asmo. Sans all mana. <laughs> it does have double wall verts, though. I feel like I shouldn't keep this hand, but it's like, it's oddly tempting. I'm gonna ship it. Uh, okay, this is, this is definitely better. Yeah, wall block plan established. I'm gonna go ahead and declare a block. I'm gonna go ahead and block. I would like to declare a block. If that hand had Goose, maybe, yeah. Uh, so I think I'm more likely to fetch for a basic Swamp. So I'm going to go basic Forest here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Saga plus up and too hard to add due to the mana. Yeah, you like, you cannot have a deck that has eight mana dorks plus Sam plus Grist plus Coco and support Saga. You, you just can't do it. It's, it's not feasible. So you have, you have to choose between Mana Dorks or Saga. You can't play both. That is extremely rude. <clears throat> that is the rudest thing you could have possibly done. Why would you ever consider doing that? I thought about playing Yogmoth in this deck, but the problem is because we're playing Coco and Yogmoth not being a Coco hit, I thought was too bad. I want to juice up my Cocos as much as possible. Like, I think that you're probably just better off playing Woe Strider. It's not as good of a sack outlet as Yawgmoth, but it is a Coco hit specifically. Double Searing Blaze is pretty tough to beat on the draw. So we'll pretend like we're still alive, even though we're not. Yeah, this deck is not good against Double Blaze in the draw. Should board Leyland a Sanctity. Turn off those Searing Blazes. I mean, when you think about it, Searing Blaze is almost like Ancestral Recall, right? 
like kill your creature and deal you three damage and get a prowess creature, yeah, that's essentially worth three cards in burn. It's it's actually just ancestral recall. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's up, ride or die? How are you today? Why hierarch and not halfling? Because we have ranger captain of Eos, and that card is double white in our three color deck, and I want to be able to support ranger captain and still have like basic swamp and stuff like that. So I think the way that the mana base is currently situated, it is not tenable to... Like, if if you're choosing to play Ranger Captain, you really cannot afford to play Ranger Captain and Delighted Halfling. You have to choose between one of those two. And I think you're better... Like, there's not much of a downgrade between Hierarch and Halfling. It makes you weaker to run in six, but Ranger Captain is fucked up. That card is insane. I, I think I think this deck benefits a lot more from Ranger Captain than it does from, uh, from like, Halfling against run in six. Surely they don't have Searing Blaze, right? Oh, they actually don't. Cool. Skewer on this. Alright, well, I'm gonna play a Grist. I'm gonna play a Grist and hope it's good enough. That's all I got. Mm. I'll play the Besaju here, because I don't actually know if I want... Like, I don't know what land I want to get off this. I guess I'm 100% getting... A white source. Yeah, no, I need a second white source for Ranger Captain. So if I get a basic swamp here, then I won't be able to cast Ranger Captain if I draw it. That's a good draw. So now let's think about this. So I can go Sam with... Yeah, so we can just go Sam pass. Hold up cord with... Two insects, Sam Forest. Leave up Catacombs Crack for a Shockland. Because I'm not going to race them with insect tokens. Is 14 land living in the future of it? <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't played against nor seen that deck in action. Okay. So that's 7 damage. Is there a way that I can crack a food here? Uh, no. I mean, I can get Cauldron Familiar to gain a life. Go to 11, go to 8. I think I just let this go. <clears throat> Who they target with Rift Bolt? I have a feeling they're going to target Sam. Maybe they go after my face. Okay, they targeted Sam, so let's respond. I think I'm just going to get Cauldron Familiar, because it does gain me a life and makes a food. And I just generally have more sack outlets than Cauldron Familiars. Okay, I don't know why they did that in response, but... Still gonna get the cat. They're still dead if we draw a sack outlet because we have another salmon hand. Sack outlet or cord. These are the words that tell you about. Uh, we need another black source. I guess I don't need another black source. Oh, that was actually horrible. Cause what if I had drawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I had drawn Ranger Captain? So I should have got a white source, but never punished. Hashtag never punished. What's the timing on this cord? Should I just do it now? I could do it end step or upkeep. Upkeep is bad because they can crack the canyon in response if they have nothing. I'm just going to do it now. All right, get Seer. Mm -mm -mm. Seer make a food. And now even if they have a removal spell, they're still dead. Because I have two food. Sure. All right, you're dead. New medicine. When they crack their land. What if they just don't crack their land? Like, there's a world where they just don't even crack their land. Welcome to the family. Def Jad, thank you very, very much for the 28 months of support. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, buddy. They could have Sudden Shock. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, okay, so here's the problem with doing it in response to them. If Okay, if I pass and they don't crack their land and I go to their upkeep, they have four mana, which means they can then crack the Sunbake Canyon and find a two mana spell. Whereas they, if I do it now, they, they don't have mana to crack the Sunbake Canyon, right? Yeah, I am going to FNM, which this will be my last match. I'm going to do, we're going to do a 4-1 prediction, though. This will be my last match. Uh, no black mana, no mana dorks. I'll ship this. 
We are, in fact, comboing, John. This hand's okay. I'm going to keep on six. I think I put back the second Coco. Sure is. Merca, Merca de Honor. I feel like I always pronounce that wrong. Merca de Honor. Merca de Honor. Thank you very, very much for the 11 months with that Prime. Thank you for using your Prime. The Bezos Bucks. Oh, no, you're good. I thought yours were linted out. I thought, you're, I thought you lent yours out to Spike. I didn't know you had more playsets. How many fucking rings do you have? <laughs> do you just have, like, three playsets of rings? Are you a trillionaire? Card Bros got that crypto money. You legitimately have three playsets? I don't believe you. I actually just don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, no wonder why we can't find any rings. Card Bros just hoards, hoards the entire... Uh, the entire stock of one rings. This is why we... This is why we can't have nice things. Um... I guess because they've already killed a Seer, I'll get another Seer, because I have less sack outlets in my deck at this point. It's actually a Baker's Dozen. Alright, Balloon coming in with a song request. Chigap. Alright, I'm going to skip the current song, because I don't know, I just want to make sure we'll get to it. Asmodeus. No, they're, they're not playing Creativity, because they have a non-Mountain Land. It's probably Zoo. Pretty sure I remember playing against this person before, and I think they're always on Zoo. <laughs> not Zoo with Pending. I've seen two play pending before. Jammer. Banger alert, chat. Banger alert. Absolute banger. Alright, dead. Land for Coco. Should have specified. I'm not going to expose the Viscerous here yet. Proceed. Yeah, I guess it could be Elementals. Teferoni. Okay. Um, let me just go for it now. I mean, there's a chance that they're just dead, and I have to main phase the Coco anyways with Teferi in play. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's get Cauldron Familiar. Play Familiar. Do I even care about Teferi? Yeah, I don't really don't think I care about Teferi. I'm just gonna go Bird, make a token. We melt the Coco. That's not fair. Yeah, just gonna try again next turn. I just don't care about Teferi. Because I can keep main phasing my Cocos. I'll be playing Omnath. Uh, there's really no no reason to sack Ranger in response, because if they find a fetch land, they can still play Fury, and I can't stop them casting Fury with Ranger Captain. You swallow the demons on your own. God, Dance Gavin dances. Uh, hits different. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Noted. I guess I'll just Coco now. They are dead if we hit... All we need is Sam. Uh, sure. I guess it was probably better to play my other things first. Yeah, I think I messed up the order a little bit. I probably should have went familiar or seer first then familiar then coco not sure well actually no because if i hit sam and literally no other creatures i have no way to get a food off sam so i have to save one of them for in, for the instance where i hit exactly sam and nothing so maybe it's best to go viscera seer then coco then cat that's probably a better sequencing but didn't matter hmm what do I want against four color? I want any of this stuff? I don't think so. Like maybe Pylon for Teferi? Do I even care about Teferi that much? I guess Pylon is good against Omnath. I can see exactly Pylon. Yeah, Boatmaster is kind of awkward against both Teferi and Ren and Six. It's decent against Omnath, but if like if they have Teferi and you have to run out the Bowmaster's main phase, they're just not gonna play into it. Could shave a Bowmaster and bring in the Pylon. I could cut more Bowmasters if I wanted to bring in Liberator. Yeah, I guess that's a good point, because they probably have Leyline Binding, so we could do, like, Liberator Haywire Might. Yeah, good against Fable, too. Okay. Yeah, Bowmasters is just not great in this matchup. Uh, 
I mean, I think it's a keep. Like, the nice thing about this hand, it's pretty good against Ren and Six. I'm not going to run out the cat, because they could have prismatic ending. How are they not going to run into it? <clears throat> like, they just don't cast the Obnath. Or they just, like, you have to main phase it into their Ren and Six. Like, if they go Teferi into Ren and Six, or, excuse me, if they go Ren and Six into Teferi, and you have a Bowmaster, there's, like, there's no good way to do it. Because you have to main phase it, and then if you main phase it, they just Ren and Six ping it. Right? That's a good draw. Mm -mm. You played after the Teferi minus. Well, no, because they're just going to keep the Teferi in play. Right? So they just go ping Bowmaster with Renin Six and then play the Omnath. It just, I don't know. It just, it's not a great lineup. I'm not like, there are definitely spots where you can get them with it, but it seems a lot harder to do that in the, po like, against the Teferi Renin Six deck. Dingo played Bowmaster in Scam yesterday. Got paired into 2016 Blue Eye Control. Can you imagine Bowmastering somebody if they go to Jace? Player A activates Jace the Mind Sculptor. Player B casts uh, Orkish Bowmaster. Player A has conceded from the game. <laughs> wonder how I should sequence this. I could just pass. It's probably worth playing the Cauldron Familiar because then I can just instant speed kill them if I hit... Uh, if I hit Sam Sack Outlet, then this just kills them. So I can kind of just chill on this. And then if they do anything, I'll cast Coco. Is Vile ever a consideration? Uh, maybe. But between Coco and Cord, you probably have enough stuff anyways. Yeah, I expect this to get Hallowed Moonlighted, but we have a second Coco, so it's not that bad. Oh, well. <laughs> or we could just kill them. <laughs> Oh, chat, this deck is so busted. This deck is busted. And I can just kill them at instant speed. I don't have to do anything. Like, I can go play Wall of Roots. I'm just going to make a shit ton of food. Yeah, I'll play Haywire Am I too. Because once I have a bunch of food in play, I can just beat anything. Like, there's just nothing they could have at this point. <clears throat> I, I guess Sudden Shock? Sudden Shock is the card they could have. What is the food token supposed to be? I think it's like something wrapped in a web. It's like, it's. I think it's lore appropriate, but I don't know enough about Lord of the Rings lore to know if that's actually factually correct. I have no idea, but it could be. It's Frodo and Shelob's web. Shelob food, okay. I, I, those are words. You're saying words that I don't know what they mean. So I'll take your word for it. It's been at least 15 years since I've watched the Lord of the Rings movie, so I, I just don't know enough. I don't know anything about the lore. Should we do a, a Twitch watch party where we just watch Lord of the Rings? That would be fun content. I mean, it's probably against, like, probably against TOS. Opponent, you have lost the game. You are you have been deceased. You may You are allowed to concede the game at any time. Yeah, we could do it in Discord. Sub goal, Lord of the Rings... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the next sub goal. Lord of the Rings watch party. XQC does it, it's fine. Does he do it on kick, though, is the question. You can do anything on kick. Is this the scene from the food token? Opponent has cast Solitude. Solitude resolves. What is your target? Oh, I should have played around Ephemerate and responded to the Solitude on the stack. It doesn't matter, because I have enough food anyways. But, yeah, I should have... Not giving them an opportunity to play Ephemerate. Okay, they just conceded. Cool. <laughs> they figured it out. All right. Not bad. Is the Moxfield updated? Oh, no, it's not. I forgot to update the Moxfield list when we added Bowmasters. So this was the updated list after we added Bowmasters. Let me actually get that on the Moxfield. Just so if people want to play it after, like, people want to go check out the, the text list. Give me two seconds. I'm going to save it as...